good job they do moving without the basketball. Lennon Ming saves the rebound on the missed shot by Raymond Williams. Here's Covington for three from outside. Percy Covington past six games, averaging close to 14 a game, eight assists and three rebounds. It's the problem of containing your dribble penetration up top. Greg Dennis misses a three. Covington. Nice pass. Beautiful pass to Damon for the layup in East Tennessee your front line people to come up and help. Covington, nice court awareness, chucks it out to the open court to Damon Williams. If they can create some extra possessions with their defense, VMI will be in this thing down to the end. The lead all score. Change of defense here. East Tennessee State looking to trap, trying to create tempo. VMI does a nice job reading it. Oh, great speed. Percy Covington to Lewis Preston for two. incredible improvement since last year as a player a lot of savvy handling the pressure runs the offense the twins always moving without the basketball Percy Covington answers Talford's three with one of his own BMI back up by five Covington one of the hottest players in the league over the last six games as we mentioned 58 percent field goal up with a rebound. East Tennessee State flooded the boards that time. Percy Covington, nice move along the baseline. Covington has it out front. Covington's left hander is short. Covington gets it back off the left hand and in. I tell you, Preston did a nice job of tapping that miss shot. Gives such a big target down low. Crap. Covington, off balance, left hander is good. Nice move between the legs, hesitation, dribble. Good bucket. Just over 10 minutes to go now. VMI, despite being down seven a moment ago, can take the lead if they hit here. Covington, switch. He's been the hottest player last six games. Three-point lead for the Bucks now. Time begins to dwindle down. 7.43. Covington shot is no good. On the arm, Major Gear or Keith Jennings. Jennings got the foul. Again, Contapio can communicate from the bench. Doing the dead ball here for the free throw. East Tennessee won some very, very big games during the year on the road. Beat Tennessee by 13 in Knoxville. Won at North Carolina State. Played well other places. Won uh, going 25 and 6 going into today's game. I think they should be in the NCAA tournament if they lose before they win the championship. You know, Covington they, makes two. They got beat by one and we talked about Percy Covington Jerry being a real factor in the ball game well, and this half he is. There he just demonstrated he can score off the dribble and can also hit uncontested jump shots. Well that one he was challenged but the stationary jumper drops through as well. Dynamic trio for BMI. He's on the bench. Contapio resting him for the stretch run. So running things out of a box is fast set because it's easier to get open and it gives you more screening opportunities. Percy Covington bangs in the 10-footer. When I said the Williams brothers, Percy may be a distant cousin. He might be. <laughs> he's taken it upon himself to keep BMI in it. He sure has, and it makes it easier. Five point, or rather nine point lead again. Just over two minutes. Percy Covington with a great offensive trip up the floor. They got the two and they got it quickly. They call timeout with 205. And that one's short. And Damon Williams with a rebound. That's a big miss. Covington up the floor. A minute 16 to go. BMI has no timeout. Nice move and went in. A blocking foul against Greg Dennis. Everybody was expecting the three-point shot, and Covington just took it to the hole. Covington read it beautifully. Now watch it here. He's looking shooters, takes it right to the rack. Now what does this do? Switches hands, drops it in, gets fouled, stops the clock. If you can generate three points with a dead clock, here's a bonus. Here it is again. Well, he's thinking score all the way. Now you say Dennis's feet were planted. Why is that a foul? 
he was under the basket. Now, he was out in front of the rim into the lane. He would have been the offensive foul. You want to give the player the opportunity to come down. Covington makes the three-point play, and it's a three-point ball game. You don't want too long of a possession. Inside, Lewis Preston, the freshman, kicks it back to Covington, 28 seconds. Raymond Williams, jumper, rolls around and drops in. It's a one-point game with 20 seconds, and there's the foul. It's on Percy Covington, and it will send Mr. Jennings back to the line. You can't ask for a finer finish than this, so the plots are changing back and forth. You saw the strategy, Joe Contapio put in a huddle. It's a two-point play, we foul. Keith Jennings is 10 out of 10. He's the leading foul shooter in the Southern Conference, and he hasn't even come close to missing one this afternoon. But the more he shoots, Percy Covington has now fouled out with 23 points and 9 assists, and that again takes away another three-point shooter for VMI. And what I would be looking to do is put the hands, put the ball in the hands of Raymond Williams and let him create off the dribble, because you know that's what they're going to be looking for.